Hi everyone, thanks for coming here. We are Team, team Ura I Team. My name is Evis Reye, he's Raul Garcia and Elmer Gutierrez. Today we are going to present the Gearbox Design Project. Okay, in the introduction of my PowerPoint, I would like to say that we decided to target wind tower power electrical generation to the ability to the ability to do some modification to the to the actual aspect of the design. Okay. There, is, there, are, there are different types of wind tower wind tower gearbox but the principle is the same that is generate electricity. I would like to say that the wind tower gearbox transmit rotational speed a one, 100, one, 180 degree between parallel axes. Now I want to explain a little bit how wind, wind towers works. First of all there is a lower shaft that is attached to the turbine that turn approximate at 14 rpm. The, this shaft is connected to the gearbox that increase the RPM that increase the RPM to 18, 1800 IPM. The, the high shaft are connected are connect to the generator that this generator produces electricity. I would like to say that the specific material tolerance and actual size were not include during the during the process of the design. Now I want to talk a little bit mm -hmm. about the environment, environmental impact that this wind turbine has. As you can see in the bottom point, there is a picture. Uh, you can see there are mm, few eagles on the ground that were that were killed by the wind turbine blades. Another example is that the, the destruction of the fragile ecosystem and animal habit during the construction and installation the wind tower. And finally, this wind tower produces noise and vibration that cause human problems like headache and sleep problems. Now I'm going to introduce Raul Garcia that's going to talk a little bit about the design. Hi everybody, my name is Raul Garcia. Like Heavy says, I'm going to be talking about the design outside of the uh, of our gearbox. The same consideration of our gearbox. First of all, we'll talk about the um, our gearbox is a generic design, like Evan like Evan says. It's uh, just going to be including the gear system that we use, like bevel gears and planetary. Uh, we are not going to include the uh, dimensions or any other specific like tolerance and stuff like that, because of this is like I said, the generic uh, generic uh, gearbox. First of all. The object, our gearbox, uh, the input of our gearbox will have a range from 18 to 20 RPM. This uh, data was acquired from the uh, some documentation that we gathered from the Department of Energy, and the documentation is included in our uh, is included in our report as a reference as well. The uh, exit uh, rotational speed of our uh, gearbox will be 1800 RPM. This number was calculated based on a two-pole generator um, to create a frequency of 60 Hz. That's a simple math, well, as we see on the bottom here, 1800 revolution per minute divided by 60, 60 seconds per minute. We have a 30 revolution per second times two poles will give us uh, 60 revolution per second. Uh, that would be one revolution per second is uh, called Hz and then that's what we call 60 Hz. So that's how we obtain the this number. Now, the, one of the most important part of our, of our gearbox is the uh, improvement we do. Uh, what well, uh, well we consider improvement um, regularly, frequently. Uh, uh, arrangement for the for gearboxes uh, are in the setting of 180 degrees from propeller input to output generation. Um, that, that's a straight shaft from one side to the other. Uh, the generator on these towers are actually located on top of the towers, so real high place and frequently it's uh, impossible to maintain due to the uh, altitude or really really bad to maintain due to the altitude. Our gearbox 
On the other hand, brings the, the change of uh, 90 degrees. We go ahead and uh, acquire the power from the propeller, from the propeller, and send them probably down the tower where you can actually look and locate the generator, and uh, it would be simpler for the technician to uh, access, and uh, any replacement would be way simpler than uh, going up in the tower. Now, without more, let me uh, let uh, Elmer uh, bring you to speed on the uh, inside of our tower, of our wheel box. Our, uh, the inside of our uh, modular gearbox is, is based on these four main components, that is the three shaft, the bevel gears, the planetary gears, and the spoke gears. The, the shaft, we have three shafts inside the, the gearbox. We have the first shaft is the input shaft that is connected to the blades. The, directly to the bevel gears. From the bevel gears it will go to the module, uh, to the planetary gears and the, from the planet, that is the planetary gears go connected to the second shaft that will give an input of from 36 RPMs to 114 RPMs and the third shaft is connected to the from the planetary gears through the spool gears to the uh, main uh, power that, is, that we're creating, that is the, the generator. The bevel gears, as you can see, they were created by William Wilson in 1874. This is the traditional way of the bevel gears. We are not using these bevel gears because it's noisy and it's, it, it has less uh, area of contact as the helical ones, as you can see in this in this form here. And the purpose of this is uh, is to create more power and to make a 90 degree turn from the axle, the main axle, to the second one or the third that is connected to the generator. Over there, you can see the 90 degree turn created by the rubber gears. It's expensive, but it's, it's uh, necessary for our design. The planetary gears, as you can see, are connected after the bevel gears to create more power with less uh, revolutions. That is, uh, we're using the four planetary gears to have a better uh, concentration and to have more stability in the system. It will create from, as I said before, from, 14, from 36 RPMs to 114, and it will go straight to the second shaft through the spoke gear and connect it to the third shaft. As you can see here, this is the spoke gear that is connected from second shaft to third shaft that the, at the end of the third shaft is, is uh, attached to the generator. And this is the final and the main, the, the higher velocity, angular velocity uh, of the system is created by these two spoke gears. There will be uh, the, the difference between the the low speed input and the high output that will be creating the higher uh, the higher okay. angular velocity for the entire system that will be creating more electricity. Thank you for everything.